All right, so today, awesome day. Um, hopefully the audio is okay. Um, I don't have a microphone or anything, and it's a little windy. And uh, I'm only about 200 yards off the road into the woods, so you might hear some cars and whatnot. But today is super exciting. Um, I'm gonna be doing some axe cordwood challenge work, some bucking. Uh, yesterday, right before dark, um, I dropped a cherry tree. Um, and uh, this is my first time ever doing the cordwood challenge. This is my first time using axes and whatnot. And I'm just getting into it. Um, so I got something exciting now. Um, I've been using this old Kelly Wood Slasher for a while now. I'm not even like a while because I really haven't been doing this that long. Anyway, um, I went to a yard sale. I found a Kelly Wood Slasher, watched some videos, learned how to hang it. And that's what I've been practicing and using and whatnot. It's two and a half pound or two and a quarter pound boys axe. I hung on a 28 inch handle and it's been working pretty good. But um, I wanted to treat myself to try something new. Um, not that I don't think my axe is fine, but uh, after watching Steve from Skill Coal and um, Ben Scott and Kevin, I decided to get myself a council tool, boys axe, sport utility model, and give it a shot. Um, I think this thing is going to be awesome, and uh, I can't wait to give it a shot. And uh, I didn't do anything to the axe, this is out of the box. The only thing I did was thin the handle down naturally. But I wanted to see, um, they say it's, it's user sharp, right out of the box. I wanted to kind of put that to the test. Um, my Kelly Wood Slasher is, I believe I filed that down to right around 18, 20 degrees. I guess convex, it's not really a flat grind. Um, so this is the factory grind. This is right out of the box. Like I said, the only thing I did to this was thin the handle down. Um, the Wood Slasher, I have that handle pretty freaking thin. Um, so yeah, I'll set you guys up on the tripod and we'll make some bucking cuts with it. Like I said, factory grind right out of the box. Can't wait to see how this thing does. And uh, I'm sure after using my, my wood slasher for a little bit now, I'll be thinning that bit down, but I'm, I'm curious to see how it acts. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do maybe is like maybe a little comparison or something like that. Um, like I said, this is right out of the box. Handle is just thinned down. Uh, this is my wood slasher. Love this axe to death. Um, can't wait to see how this thing works out though, man. It feels really good after I thin the handle down and whatnot. Um, I measured on the gauge. The factory grind is eh, right around 25 to 27 degrees. Um, like I said, I might be thinning this down, but I would like to see how this works right out of the box. I'm, I'm definitely curious. So without further ado, let's get chopping. Uh, we'll start off with the council tool. Let me take off this flannel here. It's kind of warm out for December. Uh, it's been around, I'm up in uh, Northeast PA, Pocono Mountains. Um, it's been about in the 20s and 30s, but today is exceptionally warm, or maybe it's just sunny, I don't know. It feels, feels about 45 degrees or so. All right, let's see how she goes.
I'll tell you what. Factory grind. Not too bad. I mean, it made pretty quick work of that. Um, I don't know. I think I might take it down a little bit. Obviously, that was my first swing with it. I have to spend a little more time on it. But man, it, it feels awesome. Shout out to Whiskey River Trading, man. I got this from them um, through their website. Not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video. I definitely don't look like it should be sponsored. Um, I just was excited to try something new, you know what I mean? I don't know if I got caught up in the in the internet hype of buying new axes and whatnot, but uh, I really wanted to try it out. And just from that little bit there, it's, it, it compares very nicely to my, my wood slasher. It feels very similar. Um, I, think, I think I'm gonna love this thing, I really do. Uh, it feels really nice. Um, I know they have uh, Steve from Skill Colt. He has that video, um, and his is red. And he was talking about that big aluminum wedge he had on top. That's pretty much the main reason why I went with the Sport Utility line. One, let's be honest, the finish to me is killer. I like that look. Um, it keeps like a vintage vibe. Uh, I hate red. I know I was wearing a red flannel, but I've been wearing that thing for like 15 years. I love that. But as far as axes go, I think I hate the red. I do. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to quit jibber jabbering and I'm going to do another bucking cut uh, with the wood slasher and kind of compare it. Let's give it a go. All right the wood slasher like I said it's about 18 degrees ish maybe 20 I didn't time it, but I guess I went about the same depth. Guys, like I said, I'm super new to axes. I know my accuracy is terrible, but that's why I'm doing the cordwood challenge. I really uh, took a big interest into axes and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll be out here chopping as much as I can. Obviously I have to work and whatnot, but uh, I would love to get better at it. Something like, like I said, I'm very interested in. I'm very pleased with the Council Tool Boys Axe. Obviously this is no review because you can't really review a tool and use it for two seconds. But um, I definitely plan on using that. Um, who knows, maybe it's gonna be my, my main ax. But you know, yesterday I came out and I was using this and I had a walnut wedge in here. And uh, the wedge backed out, I didn't realize it and the head started to come up when I was bucking. I caught it before it uh, flew off. But I only had this out here with me. So if I'm trying to get any kind of work done and let's say the handle broke or whatnot, it would have been great to have two axes out here. So that just came in and uh, I only have two axes at the moment, so I guess they're my two main axes. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little more bucking, stick around. I think I'm gonna mess around with that council tool for the rest of the day. Keep this as the backup.
Got the handle there. It's all right, it's a learning process. Not broken, just dented it a little bit. Tell you what, man, this thing feels awesome. This is super, I only have one thing to compare it to. I know this is awful, probably for you guys to watch, but I'm having a, I'm a freaking, having a freaking blast out here. I love this, man, I really do. I'm so happy I bought this. I'm like, honestly, it was pretty affordable. I mean, I don't really, obviously on the internet, everyone's like, oh, get a Grandfurth Brooks, get a Holtz Brook, get this Swedish everything. I'm sure they're awesome. I, at this point in the game, I can't really justify spending that kind of money on an ax. Um, one, being this new, and two, I'm sure they're great, but I don't, you know, after watching a lot of videos, you know, and I, I, the main people I watch is Kevin, uh, Ben, and and Steve from this uh, from Skill Cult. And I watch them because I'm interested in doing the cordwood challenge, and I think those three guys are extremely knowledgeable on this. And uh, I definitely take what they have to say. Um, you know, I don't know how to word it, but I, I listen to what they have to say and. There's a lot of people on the uh, internet and on YouTube and whatnot that, I don't know, it just, they kind of seem like fake. They just like, I don't know, these guys really care about axes and really care about what they're doing and I really appreciate that and um, me being a mechanic, uh, I really care about what I do. And so if, if someone was watching me do something about mechanics and if I can teach them something or they can get a, take away something from any video I would make doing mechanics, I'd appreciate that. So with that said, I mean, these guys really, really know what they're talking about and uh, I'm just rambling on here, Jesus. But, you know, they, they recommended this ax. Um, they all say, you know, with the grand furs and whatnot, they have a super thick handle. You have to do work on them anyway. And like I said, come full circle. I didn't want to spend upwards of almost 300 bucks on an axe because every bushcrafter and every person on the internet says that it's the best thing since sliced bread and you could all see the the name still in the thing so it like I said I'm still very new I don't want to come off like cocky or anything but like I said I, I listen to these three guys that I watch on YouTube and they uh they're pretty smart man they know a lot, a lot of, of this stuff. and everything across the board is that handles are too thick and whatnot and I did when I hung that that wood slasher I, I got the handle from the hardware store and that thing was like a log but I didn't know any better and I went out there and I used the axe a while so I, I definitely know what they're talking about about shocking your hands because after I thinned it down and I watched um, Steve uh, Ed Holmes video from Skill Colt about thinning that Husqvarna axe down so I watched kind of how he did it and I kind of followed it and whatnot and uh, I got the handle down to like three quarter of an inch and that thing is thin. I got a little scared. I was like, maybe it's too thin, but I, I swear I feel like I could chop all day. It, it feels so good. I did the same thing to the uh, council tool. Uh, maybe I can go a little thinner, but it's, like I said, it's almost the exact thickness of that, um, that wood slasher I have. That handle, like I said, is a hardware store handle. It's pretty curvy. It's got perfect grain. Um, I was able to do a lot of reshaping to it because how thick it was. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to be part of this, happy to be part of the Axe Corbett Challenge and the Axe community. And uh, hey man, I have no shame in buying a $50 Axe or 
finding a head at a yard sale and then putting a handle on it all together probably cost me around, you know, 30 bucks and some time. And uh, so together I got, you know, less than 100 bucks into two axes and they work just fine. I don't think I'm going to be investing into a Swedish axe anytime soon. Um, I feel like you're maybe paying for the name or like a wall piece or something like that. And uh, I really want like a user a user tool, you know what I mean? I don't want to take something out of the woods and be afraid to scratch it or whatnot. So, I don't know. Sorry for chewing your ear off. I'm rambling on. I'm just, I'm so stoked about this, man. This thing is, this thing is killer. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep chopping. My accuracy, my accuracy is horrible. Holy crap! I gotta work on it. That's why I'm out here. Yeah, I think I might. This thing is very capable how it is, but I think I might take the bit down to maybe, maybe a few more degrees, maybe like 20. I'll give that a try and come back out, see how it feels. But I'll tell you what, out of the box, I don't know, if, if you didn't want to touch it, I think it's pretty capable. This thing's a capable tool, man, right out of the box. Like I said, I thinned it down, didn't touch the bit, just on the factory grind. Maybe I just got lucky, I don't know. But this thing is beyond capable, beyond capable. I, of course, everything could be better, but I don't know. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. It's my first video, really, I'm putting out. Um, I'm going to make more. I'm very nervous in front of the camera. I feel awkward and dumb doing it. But kind of got to get out of my little shell here. And uh, all right, guys. Thank you.